So I can't be the only creator out there who has a problem of putting hours upon hours into projects and then abandoning them. Whether it's because I was overambitious when starting the project or I just lost that initial spark. Sometimes there are projects I don't finish, and that should be okay in theory. But it's definitely a different experience as a creator on social media, because it feels like if I've already spent tons and tons of time on a project, I need to finish it just so I can have something to show, or else it will have been a waste of my time, or whatever. So as a result, I just kind of put the project in a mental folder and tell myself that I'll totally finish that project. Someday. Well, it's been two years for some of these projects, and while I probably won't ever finish them, I don't see any harm in sharing what I was able to make for them, and talk about the ideas I had, because I really liked these concepts at the time, and I still do. Plus, I think it's a fun way to see how I've grown as an artist. I remember some of these projects feeling super complex to me two years ago, whereas now I'd consider them to be pretty simple. Also, a quick side tangent, going back to what I said earlier about projects feeling like a waste of time if you don't have something to post at the end of them. I personally don't think any project is a waste of time, because I definitely learned a ton while making them, and they were all opportunities for me to practice drawing and animating. Not everything I make will appear on my YouTube channel, shiny and completed, and it's better for me to just accept that, rather than guilt trip myself for not finishing it yet, or force myself to work on projects that don't bring me joy anymore. I forgot to introduce myself! Hi, I'm Shirley, and I make a lot of art-related videos and projects on this channel, and among those projects are animations and animatics. I used to make a ton of animatics back in, like, 2021, I think that was my year of animatics. And some of these are animatics that I started in 2021 and then never finished. So without further ado, let's get into the old animatics. Alright, so the first animatic we'll look at is from the summer of 2021. I really liked Shira. I did what any reasonable Shira fan would do, and I made a mashup of the show's opening theme with the vocals from A Thousand Miles and turned it in my head into this angsty Catradora animatic. And in theory, I think it's a good idea. I was just too lazy to finish it. <laughs> Let's get into the animatic, and then I'll share more. Take them away downtown, walking fast, faces passing them homebound. I had no idea what to draw here. <laughs> You can tell it's old just from how I drew faces. Okay, so I had a whole idea of like choreographing like a fight scene for this and having the colors match up because like Adora is blue, Catra is red, and the fight scene is purple. It was gonna be so cool. So yeah, that was like what I had animatic. Is that a word? So that's what I had drawn frames for, for Adora and Catra to the song mashup that I created. And I like the concept. It's too bad I didn't finish it because the mashup was definitely stuck in my head. I think it's fun because it takes the song that's like a little more chill and gives it kind of like angstier night chord vibes. And I'll say it's been a while since I've really done animatics in this like looser sketch style. Part of me like feels like I have to make everything super polished, but I might try experimenting with posting more art on my channel like in the form of animatics and things that are in a more sketchy style. Overall, I still think it's a cute animatic. It was a slightly overambitious project for where I was at the time, I think, because I like had only just started making animatics a year before and I hadn't made a lot of them. So having to plan out a whole like three, four minute animation can be a little bit much for somebody who's pretty new to it. The next clip we're going to look at features some characters from Laps, which is an Avatar The Last Airbender alternate universe my friend Flynn and I made together. This specific animatic uses an audio that was like big on TikTok I think at the time. It was the And now I'll raise a toast to the girl I love most in the whole world. And it's like really cute. So I thought how cute it would be to like have it with um, Shosun <laughs> raising a toast to Taya. And then when the beat drops I would make a lot of art of them all just being cute, but I uh, didn't have enough effort to make like eight drawings of them being cute so it never got finished. Also keep in mind that their appearances in this animatic are from like before Flynn and I kind of finalized their character designs so they look very different from how they do in the actual like more recent stuff that we've made with them. So let me raise a toast to the girl I love most in the whole Please don't say my name. Please don't say my name. 
Okay, I'll be honest, I still think it's cute. I like how I did the expressions here. Like, Taya's little blush, the sparkle in Chosen's eye. I'm, I don't know, I'm a sucker for fictional gay people, okay? Like, this isn't new. So it's a shame that I didn't end up making like all the art for this and finishing the project, but I love these girlies. Okay, so the next one is fun. It's an animation idea that I had featuring Ina, the character by Joel G, to the song Echo by Crusher. I think it was a cool concept. I think I'll just let you watch what I have so far for it because I was gonna make a whole like three, four minute animation to it and then only made like 10 seconds. So I'll just show that to you first. The clock stopped ticking forever ago. How long have I been up? I don't know. I can't get a grip, but I can let go. So let me walk you through the concept. So basically, I used two covers of the song Echo, one by Bao the Whale and one by Kurainu. Please forgive me for butchering the pronunciations. The premise was Bao the Whale's cover would kind of be for like Ina's like femme voice, and then Kurainu's cover would be for like Ina's mask voice, and I'd kind of switch between like having it be like how her voices are kind of conflicting and like the different parts of her. The mashup that I made to use for the video like kind of switched from line to line who was singing and then when the chorus would come like depending on like the thematic parts like sometimes they would like sing together and ugh, it was such a good mashup. I had so many cool ideas for it. Maybe someday I'll make the full animatic. If I don't, I'll be sad. If someone else ever makes this project like please tag me or like let me know in the comments here so I can see it because that would be amazing. But I had like a lot of ideas for like symbolism, the song Echo, which I was obsessed with that song in my middle school Vocaloid phase. <laughs> There's a line that goes, I'm black, then I'm white, no something isn't right. And Ina has a lot of like design changes that'll change based on her emotions. Sometimes she will turn into like a monochromatic design or like she'll like flicker between different designs. So I had so many fun ideas, and, like I was gonna incorporate like static and other things into the aesthetic. This one is probably one of the ones that I'm the saddest I never finished because I used to just listen to my mashup like in my headphones and just picture the whole animation in my head, but then I never made it. It was a slightly overambitious project as someone who like at the time, I think the most recent animation I had made was um, the Life is Strange anime style opening, but this project was a little bit more, I don't know if it was more overambitious just because Ina's design has like some geometric aspects that are hard for me to draw or just because like I just started my sophomore year of college and was too busy to be doing animation that was tricky, I don't know. Ultimately, I still really love this idea and I'm sad I never finished it because I feel like it would have been a really good video. So the last video is another project that I never finished. I was honestly considering just picking it up this year and drawing the rest of the frames, but then I never got around to doing it. I started this project in the beginning of 2022, and it's an animatic featuring the characters from Laps, primarily focusing on Rhythm. This video gets into like a little bit of Laps lore, and the background song is Repeat by Grace Vanderwall. So anyway, let's get into this animatic. I had a lot of cool concepts for it. I will say, the way I draw the characters, you can kind of tell that I didn't know what I was doing. This was like right after Flynn had drawn up like character sheets for the characters like designs that we still kind of use now. At the time I was so scared of like having any deviations from the sheet because I was like if I draw them wrong it won't be them that like I kind of traced the character sheets in some parts so the way I drew the faces doesn't look authentic to my style sometimes and sometimes it looks silly because I was prioritizing getting all the proportions just right over getting like convincing expressions and focusing on movement and the liveliness of the animatic. Either way though, I think it was a cool concept and it gets into some juicy laps lore if you came here from the laps playlist. <laughs> buckle up. <laughs> Let me play it. like the concept for this. I wanted to post it, like I was considering drawing those extra frames so I could put it out, but ultimately I don't think I'm gonna finish it ever, so 
I'll post it now and just let you like do what I do and just imagine that the animatic is completed. Whenever I have writing that says what Murphy is doing, just imagine that I had it finished. <laughs> yeah. So those were some of the animatics that I started a couple years ago and never finished. And while it does break my heart a little that I couldn't finish these projects that I was super, super excited about, it's okay. Sometimes projects just don't get completed and what matters is, you know, the journey and like the, what you learned along the way. None of these projects were a waste of my time. Like you can see within these projects, like how much I improved from like that first animatic to that last one. And it's kind of amazing how much progress happens behind the scenes. Like, you'd expect that all the progress you see is what the people you follow are posting, but there's so much more stuff that they do that they're not posting that is contributing to their progress as an artist. So I guess here's to more improvement, even if that improvement is behind the scenes and not on a social media page. I came up with the concept for this video literally the night before recording because I was just thinking about a lot of these projects that I had abandoned that I really, really wanted to finish and never did. And I was like, you know, they don't need to just live only on my computer. I'm not ashamed of the fact that I never finished these projects, so I thought I'd share them with you guys. And hopefully you enjoyed seeing them anyway. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end, and I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Shirley, and I do a variety of things on my channel, as you can tell. This video mainly focused on the animatic side of my projects. But if you look at my more recent stuff, I do a lot of art challenges, story time videos, speed paints, etc, etc. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean a ton to me if you gave this video a like and commented. Maybe let me know what your thoughts on these animatics are. Which one's your favorite? And if you are also somebody who like creates stuff, do you have any projects that you abandoned? And how did you feel about abandoning them? Thanks again for watching, and until next time, I'll surely see you around. Bye! If I could fall into the sky Do you think time went past me by? Oh, cause you know I'd walk a thousand miles If I could just save you No, I don't wanna let you know I, I